what you need to do. Write it down. Before you write it down, you need to... What, what is that supposed to be? Add it together. No! Good morning, I hope you're all well on this unusual um, Monday morning the beginning of a week. I hope if you're experiencing school closures for the first time that you're managing okay and that you're not being too hard on yourself um, and you're just yeah going a bit easy on yourself. This is a, an unusual time and it's uh, not easy for any of us but hopefully you're all managing to stay safe and fairly positive. So as I explained in my last video I was going to actually show you a structured day learning and today I've managed to do a list of the to-dos that I want the children to do <clears throat> and work through. <clears throat> so hopefully we'll be able to achieve what I want to get achieved today to be able to give you guys a bit of an idea of um, how much we cover in a day. Um, it's currently half nine in the morning. The children are up having breakfast and then they're going to get themselves dressed. On a structured day, normally we tend to be ready for about nine o'clock, but because it was Mother's Day yesterday and things were a bit up in the air, the children didn't go to bed until 10 o'clock. We were watching a video and we were um, having ice cream and just trying to take our minds off some of the stuff that is going on. So they didn't wake up until about eight o'clock this morning, which is why they're not dressed yet. But they're just getting dressed now. And once they're ready, I will start filming what they get, how they get on and what they're up to this morning. And I'll also show you the list on the blackboard that I put up on our structures day so the children can tick it off as they complete one. They all have a different coloured chalk and then I can see straight away who's done what and they can also get some sense of achievement um, and progression of how, to how their day's going. And they also get a bit of responsibility um, and feel like they're in control a bit better, I've found, with mine anyway. I know all children work completely differently, but I found that this actually works for all three of my children really, really well and they get so excited when they tick something off. So the chalkboard is prepped for them. We're ready for the day. I'm gonna try and film every little activity they get up to, and then I'll say whether it's part of our structured learning or whether it's a free choice activity that they've just started to go and do um, on their own, from their own thoughts. So we'll keep you posted as the day goes on. I hope you all are having a brilliant and positive Monday and that you're all managing to keep smiling. What are you doing at the minute, matey? My English. English? Yeah. What have you got to do? How do you spell um, emergent? How do you spell emergent? Emergent? In is it with an concept? A-N-T or an E-N-T? In what concept do you... Is the question? Is yeah. Sentence? Yeah, in a sentence, yeah. It's not a sentence. I'm, it says, like, um, you've got to separate them. So, like, distant, assistant... A, Entrance and relevant to all like A N T words, uh, excellent, intelligent, and resistant, and competent or E N T word. I mean, excellent, not excellent. So what are you got to do, Johnny? So I'm separating them. Oh, so how can we need to know how to spell it if it's already there? No, it's not already there. I have to add the. I have to add. What's twenty seconds left on my timer? Happy, I'll be in a sec to bed. See what you're doing. I, I have to add the end of the word. Onto the, I have so you want to know if it's ENT? Or ANT? A, e I'm asking Alexa. To help you? Yeah. Or you can get the dictionary? I don't know where the dictionary is, sir. So. You don't know where the dictionary is. Where, where does is it? it live, darling? Why don't I go and search in the B for books? Pardon? Why don't I go and search in the B for books? Yeah. See if you can find it yourself first. Right. What else have you been doing this morning, baby, just before you go and do that? Mathematics. Mathematics. And have you done those pages? Yeah. And we're working Ooh. with the lovely, trusty Scholastics. That one. Ooh. That one. How are you getting on with your maths? Deep in concentration. 
What? Are you deep in concentration? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good boy. So these are the trays that they all use, which have got their daily, they've got different colours and it's got their daily, their, ten, um, their stuff that they tend to use every day, so it's got their mask bits in there. Um, and that's the thing about it. anxiety and self esteem books in there, English books in there, and then a Woolies book. It's all the things that they tend to use throughout the week. That was like the easiest thing ever. I could have just done 400 takeaway 90, but why not do 400 takeaway 90, 310, why not? You do love maths, though, don't you, Teddy Bear? Mm -hmm. I don't put my time on, I, I, I bet it's over now anyway. How much time? You like to set timers, don't you? You all do actually. You set your timers for your half an hour, don't you? On your subject. I didn't pause it, so it's probably over now. Good boy, well done. I'm going to go see what Miss Millie's doing. Ooh, you get your snack now, darling. Okay, mommy, love ya. Love you. Millie! You've just been colouring in your lay, um, your butterfly, haven't you? And what are you doing now, darling? Um, so, so far what I've got is here. I've not exactly done one of the cows, but so I've got... Oh. The is the mushroom. <laughs> It's the mushroom <coughs> um, butterfly and oh, the mushroom Millie. zombies. Are you going to do a butterfly world? <gasps> I love him. That's why I call it butterflies. We'll do a whole butterfly world for our hope butterflies. Yeah. We can make butterflies in lots of different ways, can't we? If you have Minecraft at home, you can come. That's why. If they've got Minecraft at home, they could do some um, hope butterflies on Minecraft, couldn't they? Yeah. And then they could email to us. Because our email address is always at the bottom of every video, so they could find that and email us, couldn't they? Oh, I need more malt loaf. Yes, they could. I need more loaf. More malt loaf. Oh my goodness! I'll be in to help with snacks in a minute. I'm falling from the sky. <laughs> you done one. Yeah. <laughs> Good girl. I feel good. Do 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 do. Check your booty. Show me the show me the feeling good dance. Go on. Feels good. I'm having a good time. <laughs> I've done my maths. Well done, baby. You just ticked it off. Mm -hmm. So you've done your maths. How come we couldn't do it on the other Millie's side? Millie's done though? a butterfly. I don't like the feel of that side. We'll do the um, whiteboard tomorrow, darling. I'll get the whiteboard out tomorrow. It's because something's on the whiteboard side. And we didn't want to rub it off, but tomorrow we will. Okay. I've done literacy. I'm going to eat my snack now. I'm ticking off maths. How does that feel? Good, so good. I finished my structured stuff. You are like to get your maths and English out of the way, don't you? I do, how I do, how I do, now I can eat food. So the children tick off each task as they get it done and they have different colour um, chalk so they I can see who's done what and they can also use the right colours and tick it off and feel like they're getting some sort of progression through the day, getting through your stru less structured bits. Yeah. Snack time. So it's 11 o'clock, we usually have about half ten, but it's a bit later, isn't it? But it's snack time. What have you got, Alfie? I have got the chocolate spread. Yum, yum. I have got the breadsticks, which I love now. <laughs> I've got the waffle, <gasps> which I was supposed to toast, but I prefer them. <laughs> now I also got... I also got these little strawberry pies with yogurt on them, so that is what I've got for my lunch. Au revoir. What time is it, Teddy Bear? Snack time. Snack time. So we decided, I decided to make baskets full of snack things because I found the children were coming to me every five minutes saying, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, and they were just grazing all morning, whereas if they know they've got, um, they have breakfast and then at half ten, they can come and pick three items, um, something from here, or there's fruit and cucumber and carrots in the fridge as well and they can choose what it is they want um, at half past ten. These are also healthy. <laughs> so these are yoghurt bar, strawberries covered in yoghurt, this is uh, fruit covered in yoghurt You like those bar. ones don't you? Um, and then Nutella. And then it lasts them then until lunch at about 12.30. Oh god, bread 
sticks. Too late now, isn't it? <laughs> Always tomorrow. But if I had, but if I had bread sticks, it would be too bready, wouldn't it? Because oh. I already had these ones. Yeah. How many have you got? How many is there? 24. 24! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so I'm making a bunny mirror because it's nearly Easter. So I'm just making a bunny mirror and I'm painting it white. What colour are you going to go for? Completely white or are you going to add Completely white. I might do like decoration, like if you look on here, on like the little app, uh, the front, they've got like details. Oh yeah, you get some I might rabbits. do rosy cheeks and whiskers. Yeah, you get some rabbits from the craft table. We've got you? felt as well. Yeah, you've got a different got bit on the craft We've table. We have got well. buttons, yeah, and jewels and stuff. So that should be good. And you've got loads of new stick-on things that Daddy bought for Mother's Day, didn't he, for the Mother's Day craft oh, yeah. did for me. Might go over the years. Do we have a pink acrylic paint? You might have to make it. How would you make it? Red, Red and... and white. I might make that way. So I'll hold it and open. I've done to I'll help you. Well, that looks really good. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, babe. Look. Oh, awesome. They do look good. Right, Teddy Bear, what are you up to now, Chick? Now you've had your snack. Just done spellings. You've just done spellings. Rosa. Love it. Rosa. Yeah. We drew around you, didn't we? That's what I see, uh, that's what I see myself as. It's a Millie size drawing. Good afternoon. So it is currently one o'clock. The children are just all having their lunch and then they're going upstairs for their hour quiet time. Um, we've managed to get a few things off the list ticked this morning and um, Millie actually wanted, she did her colour in a um, butterfly sheet and then she had an idea and she wanted to go onto Minecraft and um, build a butterfly world. So she's been spending the morning, oh, thank you. She's been spending the morning um, doing that. So we still need to go through and do uh, her. I other... love you over the world. <laughs> <laughs> so we so this afternoon after lunch, oh, we need to go through and do our um, maths and English and worry work. The boys have done their maths and English but they Bob still Jeff, got their Bob worry Jeff, work Bob to do. Bob so I'll show you the board in a minute as to what's been ticked off so far. Bob and after we've had Bob some lunch and quiet time, we will Bob do our afternoon Bob bits and bobs, Bob and, Bob and then Bob I'll get back to you at the end of the Bob day and, um, and we'll and film Jeff. as much as we can. Bob and Jeff. This is the worry, Worries book we're currently working on with Millie and Alfie. So I'm just about to read this with them. And that. So I'm just about to read this with them. And this one. And then they're going to do this activity and this activity. And then we'll read the last little bit of that chapter before we start another chapter next time. Now, Ted is currently working on a slightly different book for his worries because. Not worries. No, well, not for your worries, but for your self-esteem, for some for, for our mental health, for good mental health, isn't it? Because we started doing um, no worries work with Ted as well, and then you said to me, didn't you, Mum? I don't worry. Now I'm not at school anymore. I don't worry. And I thought about it, and I thought actually he's not the one that comes to me with worries or won't sleep at night or is anxious. It is usually the other two. So. Oh well. 
Well, uh, uh, yesterday we had we had takeaway pizza, and then at ten o'clock, and then at ten o'clock we had uh, ice cream. We did, didn't we? So it was hard to get to sleep. So then. you're a bit tired, aren't you, today? But it's all good. We'll get an early night tonight, can't we, babe? It was Mother's Day, wasn't it? And it was a bit of something fun to do, something a bit different. So, yeah, so Ted's doing this instead of worries, I thought. When he said to me, I don't worry, I thought for a minute. Well, I can't, can't argue with that, can I? So you're not doing the worries book, which is fine. It's really helping the other two. But you're doing this one, aren't you? So you're going to do two pages, which you've just started. I am loved. And then you're going to do this. What's it say? What's important to you? Maths, mummy and, mummy and, and Fortnite. Again. Right, yeah. It's brilliant, matey. And then what's on the other side? I'm done that yet. Super. I'll leave you to it then, sweetheart. Love you. Bye. Love you. Dad likes to listen to his music. What? Just then you like to listen to your music, don't you, when you do your work, which is perfectly fine. Yeah. Right, Alfie. Yeah. You don't want me to show you what we do, sweetheart, so do you want to... Go on to your next sheet and I'll just, because Millie wants to show hers. Yeah, okay. Good boy. Alfie? Yeah. I love you. You too. Right, Miss Millie. What have you written down, darling, for your worry? You going to tell Mummy? Yeah. And everyone who's watching? <laughs> the view of the world. <laughs> so, um, uh, forgetting to close the zip. Forgetting to? Close the zip. Close the zip. Yeah, the trampoline. On the trampoline, that's a good one. That is a bit of a worry, isn't it? Oh my goodness, is that you falling out? Oh my goodness, we don't want that, do we? We don't want to go in A and E. We definitely don't, especially not at the moment. Yeah. A lot of people with the coronavirus. <laughs> so have you got to know what you could do to help with your worry, Alfie? Are oh, you, darling? Also, I know how to make a fingerprint. Like, go, like, draw a little box and then just like scribble over like a hundred times. Wait, can I do it? Wait, I want to show you this. So, I draw a box here and then just scribble on it with a pen like this. I don't want, can you not show this as well? I'm not, I can't see your sweetheart, I'm making sure I can't, darling. You know, Mummy only ever put stuff on the video that you're happy yeah. to have on there. Yes, Millie, hang on one sec, because Millie's just showing about how to do a fingerprint. And then I'll come to you, Teddy. Oh, no, Oh, hello. Where's your toy? I'll go get it. And then I think. You know, you put your finger in there for a minute. Yeah. And then you put it down on the... Oh, super. That is right. You can see your fingerprint, look. And do, do um, two people have the same fingerprint, Millie? Can two people have the same fingerprint? Do you know? It depends. Yeah. Uh, I don't think... So, because everybody's different, aren't they? That's right, that is um, right, isn't imagine it, Ted? A, imagine if everyone had the same getting their iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Can't have the same because we can now unlock iPhones and stuff, can't we, with our fingerprints. Thank you for waiting so patiently, Ted. What do you want, darling? So, I feel 10% is it's, it's raining, which is sad. 25% like, just, like, happy and stuff, and then the rainbow. That's fifteen percent. That that's like really excited and happy. Um, that is the moon. That is forty percent. That is like oblivious. So I'm just not concentrating. And then that's anger because it's Ooh, I love it. rainy. I love how you've drew these. These are brilliant. Is that how you're feeling right now? No, I was just doing how much I do. And how much you generally feel? Numbers. That does add up to a hundred. Well done, darling. Super work, Ted. Well so, done, sweetheart. So. So this and this, and it's 25, 25, 25, that's 50. Yep. These two, that's 50. Just... Super. Mummy. We've got to try and get maths in there whenever we can, haven't we, Ted? You love maths, don't you, Teddy Beans? And including maths, I'll tell you is this or this. Yeah. Oh, English is this and this. That's right, you've got lots of subjects now, haven't you? But I would say maths is this, and art. I would say it's this and this. Yeah. Art, because you're drawing, so you've got reading, maths and drawing in there. 
Yes, Alfie, darling, thank you for waiting. Okay, I'll put oh, them. your mirror, you're going to show you're finished. You're going to put some um, gems and stuff on there, do you think? Yeah, I'm just going to do these quickly. Did you finish your worry sheets? Yeah. Good boy. I don't want to show them on the video because... Have you came up with any ways you can... Um, I to help with your worry, Millie. Have you managed to come up with any yet? No? Ted. You let me know when you have them, sweetheart. Which one are you ticking off now? Which one is it? The anxiety book. So what have you got left to do, darling? Butterfly challenge. Butterfly and then just the stuff that we're going to do together at the end of the day. Awesome. High five me. You want to roll, baby. What time is it? 3pm, I think. Oh my Woo! God. Very good. <laughs> that was weird. That was like really cool. <laughs> Guys, the other day for Mother's Day, we went across our field. We did, didn't we, I yesterday? Went trees and we went all the way to a road. We did, road. we're lucky to have that right at the back of our garden, aren't we? Yeah, like, it's like a 30 second walk no, to get from here. Oh, very good, Millie. It'd be a 30 second walk to get Are from here to in there. Okay. That's right. Okay. It was very good. So Ted, you're, do you want to explain why, why you're doing your colouring in of your butterfly on the iPad, darling? Um, oh, I've done all my things on the iPads. I just like my iPad and I don't like the feel of paper. That's why. I've got a nice pen. So we try to do it on the iPad as much as we can, don't we? Let's have a look. Oh, I, I do all my challenges on my iPad. Let's have a look at your butterfly. It's my wild Your beautiful iPad. hope butterfly. Oh, I love it, Ted. That's really good. You're doing brilliant. Daddy made these butterflies, didn't he? And then he's printed off... Um, Wait, he made them? Yeah, he did it. He drew the outline on the computer. And then he's made a worksheet. So if anyone else wants the worksheet who's watching at the minute, then ping us a message and we'll send you over the file. And that nice little activity for the children to be doing. Mummy, can I look at my bunny? Is this your mirror? Oh, you're doing another one. These are the sun, sun um, catchers, aren't they? The wind through the window. The you guys are loving these right now. The punk? No, I the punk. <laughs> Someone's got a bit hot, haven't you, after being on the old uh, trampoline? Yeah. Hair's had to go up. Hair's had to go up. See, the problem is having long hair. It is. Beautiful Rapunzel hair. Yeah. I'm going to grow it like down to my neck. You'll grow it really far down. Oh, God. Long down as you can get it. How am I going to do gymnastics? To tie it up out of the way, in a boy. Maybe, maybe I'll just, maybe down to my knees. Yeah. Mummy also likes braiding my hair. It calms her down when she's stressed. I do like brushing your hair. It does. Blow drying it after a bath and brushing yeah, it. If we get time this evening, you can do a fresh start on my hair. You could practice some like buttons, like new styles of my hair. That's a good idea. You like what, darling? Please. Please. Just save a couple for Ted. I think there's one more chick, isn't there? Save that last chick for Ted, darling. Because he's not done any yet. If I had this one, that leaves two for Ted, doesn't it? Ted's probably going to want this one and this one. I think there's only one chick this left. has got a bow on it. Well, I think there's one chicken and the rest are eggs, so just leave him a chick, sweetheart. Yeah, I'll leave him this and this, and Good then girl. I'll take this one. Because it has a bow on it, and I know he doesn't like bows. What did you do so, for your... how you could help with worries? How I could help with worries is... Um, I could try breathing in and out. Yeah. And, yeah. And then the next one is the... What is it called? The, um, write down one of your worries. Um, I'm scared of falling out of the trampoline. Oh, that's a good one. Don't show the rest because the rest are Alphas and he wants to keep them private, I think, aren't they, darling? No. No, I know. There's none of them in there. Oh, okay. So... One of my worries get out of falling out of the trampoline and forgetting to shut the zip. Ready? Dad and Samaya went to the park for a picnic. They packed some sandwiches 
apple, bananas and water. Samir, dog, come to on way, the way to the park. Samir ate a oh, a banana and a uh, apple. Dad ate an apple, a banana. Samir, Samir, dog ate the sandwich when Samir and Dad got to the park. There was only water left in their picnic. Then Samir dog drank the water. That was super reading. Well done, darling. Just remember, when it's got a soot on the end like that, it's Samir's, because it belongs oh. to Sam or... Yeah, that was super reading. So what does the first question say? Who went to the park? Who went to the Dad park? Dad and Samir. Well done. Super. All the time today. I'm pink, aren't I? You are pink, of course. It's got to be pink. What are you ticking off? English. English. <laughs> English, English is off. Come here, Ozzy. Do you want to do it with me? Yeah. Do you want to do it with me? Oh, yeah, give me a... Like, what's going on? What is this human doing? English. Uh, Good job. So, uh, what's next on the list? Think... What are we going to sit and do together now? Miss Millie, what are we going to sit and do together now? Maths, good girl. Sorry I got lost in dog. You did, didn't you? Come on then. Come on, Izzy, let's go. You did it on my glasses. You did it, trampoline lessons, that's right. Homemade trampoline. Well, we can't go now, but when we could go, you learnt that. Show me what you learnt. Woo, that was good. Oops. I forgot. Sorry, I'll keep quiet, don't distract you. Super duper. What do you need to do? Write it down. Before you write it down, you need to. What, what is that supposed to be? Add it together. No! <laughs> you got never, it. I'm never gonna do it. I'm never gonna do it. I'm never gonna do it. I can't. Of course you are. It's too like hard. hard. <sighs> too hard. That's how we learn, isn't it? So, what are we going to do? We're going to add what together first? The t t t oh. the tens. And then we're going to add the units. Yeah, tens and then the units. So can you find the tens? I bet you can't find them by the count by the time I count to five, but you can't find all the tens. One. Two. Oh my goodness, I only got to one. How did you manage that? So how many of them tens make? I bet you can't figure it out by the time I count to five. <gasps> I didn't even say one! My goodness me! I bet you so you've got a 40 there, but I bet you can't add the ones to it by the time I count to five no. in my head. <gasps> so, oh my goodness! I already know! Because I put nine together before! Oh, so what's the answer? 49! Oh my goodness! And there you were saying you couldn't do it. High five me, that was absolutely no, brilliant. Take off your math. Alright, we'll see. Take off your maths. Well, I'll only stay for one. Yeah, that's fine. Well done. They're in a bouquet of wildflowers. Hello, Vicar, said the boy. They stood there looking at each other. They stood there looking at each other for a moment. Can I come in, she asked. If the, that is the Vicar, please let her in at once. Call Flip from the kitchen. Right. The Pick a card, Miss Millie. Ooh. If you call a move, whatever you want to do. Would you do amazing movement as a beast you can? Let's have a look. At best you can. So it says, you if you could move in whatever way you wanted, what would you do? <laughs> Imitate that movement as best you can. You, you already can. So if you could move in whatever way you wanted to. So how would you move if you could move in what? Millie's really going to go first. You can. How would you move? Excuse me. Excuse me. That's it, move the dog. What would you do, Millie? I'll see. It's quite I don't know. Ooh, 
very good. What would you do, Ted? I don't have fly. Fly, that's a good one. <laughs> that so I would like to fly as well. Yeah, me too. How about you, Elf? Very slowly. Yeah, very slowly. Yeah. That way no one really notices me if I move around. Can't tell if you're moving or not. They just think I'm a rock. Do a funny dance. A funny dance. Who's going first? Me. me. Oh, so I picked the card. Yeah, Alfie first because he picked the card. Go on then, stand up then, Alfie. I can swear I just broke my back. I don't want my card. I don't need to go first. It's called the boo. It's called the boo. Look, come on, put your walk on the tail. Most of mine are on the trampoline. I need to turn around to do this. But like, yeah. <laughs> is that your dance? The boo dance? Silly dance. The boo wants to tell her I'm next. Go on then, Ted, what would your dance be? Has it got a name? Was it weird or silly? Silly or weird. Okay. You call it the robot. Woo. Could we do the robot one, please? Awesome. No. <laughs> That is very cool, Ted. I know, darling. I'm just watching Ted at the moment because he's doing his dance. Well done, Ted. That was brilliant. Right, Millie, your turn, darling. It might be the dog. What's yours it's called? It's called the scooch. The scooch. The scooch. Um. What should we grab this? Splits. Scooch. Would, scooch splits. I would recommend more like this. Like not splits. Like this. Done. Doing for the day, doing for the day, doing, 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 doing for the day, doing for the day, doing for the day. Here we go, here we go, doing for the day. Are we all done for the day? Yes. So, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you have all enjoyed seeing what the children have been getting up to um, today. I've tried to video as much as I can try and get them doing all their different activities but of course there's going to be little times where they've they've gone off and I haven't noticed and I've been busy doing some jobs or something where they've gone off and done some activity or some play or something but I've tried to get the majority to give you a good feel as to what one of our staying in home days would look like um, they managed to get all of their work done off the um, to do board so we haven't got to carry anything through for tomorrow I would recommend getting a basket. We've got a basket that we keep working that we are currently working on if it's going to be for the whole week, if there's a topic or something that's going to take a few days to do. We've got a basket that we keep that stuff in. Also, if there's some work that they haven't finished, they need to go back to tomorrow, I'll also keep it in that basket. Just keeps things a bit more organised and you know where to go and find it at the start of the next day. We finished all our work today, so we have nothing to add to our basket. So I'm just about to go and start dinner now. The children are playing on their gadgets, having some well-earned gadget times now. And I've said before that they normally only have an hour, but during this period of time, I'm letting them have a little bit longer, as long as they've done their structured work and they've had some free choice play and they're not sitting on it all day, um, they can go and have some. The boys had an hour or so at quiet time and Minnie had a little bit of time on Minecraft this morning, which I don't mind as much because she was building her butterflies, her butterfly world on there. Um, and the boys spent an hour after just eating their lunch on their gadgets, but they've been off it since. So it's five o'clock and they've just gone back on it now. But I'll stay on there probably for an hour until I've done tea and I've tidied up and I've sorted the um, dining room. So everything's sorted and organised, ready for another day tomorrow. Um, I don't think we'll do a structured day tomorrow. I think we're going to all work together, go and sort the garden, lay, lay down some new bark, clean, the air, clean their play areas, get it all set so they have got somewhere to go and get fresh air um, depending on how our, um, yeah, how things change and what we're allowed to go outside and do. So I'm gonna get that ready for them tomorrow. Um, they're gonna be able to play out there tomorrow, just have some fresh air and have a much more relaxed and less structured day. I don't like doing loads of structured days in a row really. I find that it becomes um, less productive as the day goes on. I also hope you liked the bit um, where Millie was doing her maths, I'm really pleased that I managed to get that on camera. With that, quite often we have that with her with maths, she hits a blank or she thinks she can't do it. And with Alfie also, and I found that if I make it fun, make learning fun and make it into a competition or a game, then she's like straight on it. And I managed to capture that um, in today's math session. So I hope you find that useful. It just shows having fun 
or going back to it works so much better than trying to cram them with information and say you will do this you can do this it, it doesn't well it doesn't work for my children so i hope you find that a little bit useful as well also a big thank you for everyone who's taken part in today's challenge which was to create a butterfly of some sort that all absolutely amazing i've looked looking through them all your children are so talented and um, you'll find all the pictures for all of them on our separate challenge um video which will be hashtag challenge number five um daily learn from home challenge you'll find it on our other videos if you go down our videos you'll find them all the video all the challenges are on separate videos to keep it separate from this but i just wanted to mention i've been blown away by today's ones they're amazing the butterfly is also beautiful yeah made me smile when the children have loved looking at them all so thank you so much and I hope you'll all join in again on tomorrow's challenge. Yet to be decided, but we'll keep you posted on the challenge video. So I'm going to end this video here in a moment so I can get dinner and baths and everything else sorted. But I just wanted to show you our table. If your table is looking like that by about 5pm, then it's been a good day, right? <laughs> Haven't had time to tidy it because you're too having too much fun getting stuck in with the kids or doing your other jobs, or letting them just crack on. If it looks like that, it's got to be a good thing, right? It just means I've got to be, I've got to now go in and tackle it, which is fine. They've had a good day, it's been productive, and there's all sorts out. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful. If it's your first day of trying a home ed with the, with the school closures, I hope it's been a success. If it hasn't, doesn't matter. Tomorrow is a new day. Children are always learning, even if they are just playing, watching educational programmes, drawing, being creative, interacting, asking questions. They're always learning. So ease up on yourself. Don't be too harsh on yourself. You are their parents. You brought them up for the first four years. You taught them to walk and talk. You'll be fine. Um, I hope you're managing to stay positive and we will um, do another video again soon. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Find us on Instagram and also contact us on our email. For any questions or anything through the video today that you want to respond to, contact us on there. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.